Hello YouTubers, Uncle Buck here. I've been watching a whole bunch of metal detecting videos and there seems to be a little trouble identifying uh, gun related stuff, basically the ammunition that a lot of people are finding. A lot of it's being found over in Europe and Germany and stuff like that and they don't have access to the stuff that we have here in the States. So I thought I'd kind of go over uh, some of this stuff to kind of help you out. Right here are shotgun shells. Generally when they're loaded, like these two, they're called a shotgun shell. When they're empty and they've been fired, it's, we, we generally call it a shotgun hull or a shot shell hull. What we've got is a 410, a 28 gauge, a 20 gauge, a 16 gauge, and a 12 gauge. There are some other shells, but you're generally not going to find them. Uh, there's, I think there's a 8 gauge, a 10 gauge, 8 gauge, 4 gauge. Uh, people still use the 10 gauge, but the 4 and the 8 gauge were basically used during market hunting days, duck hunting. These are all plastic here. All these are plastic. In the, I'm, I'm guessing on this, but it was the 40s or 50s, they switched from paper hulls, this is a paper one, to the plastic which made them more or less kind of water resistant where duck hunters were having trouble when they'd be out in the rain the uh, paper holes would get wet and then kinda ruin them when you're finding just the bases here it was probably a paper hole from the at least before the fifties I would say and the paper is just rotted off of it, so all you're left with is the brass part. There's, I mean, when you pick up the empty hull, of course, there's nothing in it, so there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, let's go to metallic cartridges. Let's get these out of the way. And we've got these. These are a couple 270s. This is an empty piece of brass, or uh that's just what we call it, a piece of brass or a cartridge, empty cartridge. And this is a loaded cartridge. This is the bullet up here. And you can see the the primer has not been struck on this one. Sometimes you'll find a loaded cartridge that the primer was struck and there'll be a little round dent in it just like that one. But it, either the cartridge was bad or the primer was bad or uh, moisture got in it and ruined the powder or something. Now what I wanted to point out was a lot of those military cartridges that you're finding over there if there's still the bullet in them and the primer has not been struck since the military seals the primer and seals around the bullet they could actually be a live round that could if you put a dink in that uh, primer it could possibly go off and uh, when you have a cartridge laying here free not in a gun barrel when that cartridge if it was to blow up if the primer was to ignite the powder inside and there's nothing to contain it you don't really have to worry too much about that bullet hitting you because the barrel contains the powder charge and the the fire of the powder which pushes the bullet out the barrel if it was if you were to drop it and it landed on a stone and ding that thing just right and it exploded basically that's what it's going to do is explode you got more to worry about that brass shrapnel hitting you than you do with that bullet hitting you when they have the bullet out of them and the primer has been dinged with the firing pin it is pretty much harmless you're not gonna you don't have to worry anything about that now I don't know about your laws over over in Europe but uh, 
you don't have to it's, there's nothing dangerous about it now let's move on here's a couple muzzleloader bullets black powder bullets um, I, I, may, I cast those bullets myself. These are 50 caliber. I have a muzzleloader that I shoot. There are all different styles of these bullets, but this is a basic round ball. The little flat spot on it is the spruce. That's where the lead flew, flowed into the mold. And then you had a spruce cutter that cut that off right there. So there's your muzzleloader bullets. And here's some uh, handgun bullets that I cast. <clears throat> you got a, a 32, a 9 millimeter, a 44 mag, and a 45 ACP. So if you find bullets that look like those, they are probably out of a handgun. Now this 44 mag bullet has what they call a copper jacket on, or a gas check on the bottom. I'm just trying to help the people that aren't familiar with uh, cartridges and bullets and such. I've been reloading and shooting and enjoying the gun sports for close to 40 years. Not sure what else to talk about at the moment so I'll cut it off right here and thanks for watching and I hope I help somebody.